Welcome to this brief video showing how to use Alexa to send messages to Microbit. To make these examples run, you will need a developer account at Alexa, please see previous video for that, and an executable version of NGROC, which you can download. Again, please see previous classes for that. You will need some code on your Microbit. You can open this doc, uh, this text document and then download it to your microbit and you will need a javascript program ready to receive messages from alexa and pass them on to the microbit again you can download that we suggest you do all of these before you start doing any practical development so the aim is to set an alexa skill which will then send whichever intents are triggered through your laptop to the microbit. So first we will need to set up an Alexa skill. And you can do this through developer.amazon.com slash Alexa slash console slash ASK. And you would create a new skill. Call it microbit it will be custom and provision your own. Although the document that goes with this does explain how you could start with Node.js and then provide your own. But this demonstration will go straight for provision your own and create the skill using the start from scratch template. Now, to save time, I will show you an example that I've previously created. As with all new skills, go to Invocation and type in the skill invocation name. Then open the interaction model and look for the intents. And along with the standard ones, we're going to want two new ones. One to set the micro bit to bright, all the LEDs on, and one to set uh, the micro bit to dark, all the LEDs off. So you would create a new intent so you would add an intent and you would call it bright and enter the different utterances that you could use to set it to bright and here we've got bright and on you could have other utterances as well and similarly you could set one for dark so you could add intent and you could create it with utterances off and dark. Don't forget to save and build the model. When the model is ready you could go across to the test area and ensure that the testing is set to development rather than off. And you could type in open micro bit. Hi, micro bit here. So now we've got the skill set up, let's explain what's going to happen to it. Normally, you speak to your Alexa device or to the test console. That does voice recognition on the things that you said, and it works out what intent you had and what slots you are using. Normally, it would use the program hosted at Alexa to be able to send a message back to the device to speak and that's what you hear. This time instead of sending it back to the Alexa we're going to put a web address in here as an endpoint to the NGROC service. So instead of sending the input through the code hosted at Alexa it will send the same data through to the NGROC service sitting on the cloud. Then we will run a piece of software on our local laptop that registers with EdGrok and says anything sent to this endpoint in the cloud, please can we have a copy of it. So the data will get sent from the Alexa system through to our laptop. We will then write a program in JavaScript to run under Node that will listen to the inputs and take actions 
And those actions will be to program the big part not to program to send instructions to the micro bit which we've previously programmed to say if we send it the word li uh, bright then it will light up all the LEDs if we send it the word dark then it will switch off all the LEDs so the controlling code for that was written in the make code as well as controlling the micro bit we will also generate the appropriate JSON output to put some speech into the Alexa box and the session variables and that will continue to be sent back to your Alexa box or to your uh, test system so you will hear those as well. So let's first put the endpoint into action and we're going to initiate a program ngrok.exe which will generate a URL that is unique, it's a one-off uh, thing for each session, will register it with the NROC service and then copy the address into the endpoint at Alexa. So let's uh, start that off. I've got ngrok.exe. Let's run that. And we want to run it on the HTTP messages and whenever we receive anything, we will communicate, uh, we will receive them on port 5000. That's an arbitrary number, but it's built into the program that we'll use. So, NGROC is now uh, running on our laptop. We need to take this address, this randomly generated address, and then when we go to back to Alexa and into the build area, we will be able to register this as the endpoint to send our... Uh, outputs to. So go to endpoint and at the moment it's set to run uh, on the Alexa hosted code but we won't do that. Instead we'll run under the HTTPS so paste the address that we're generating into the default region uh, area and then very important you need to type in micro bits here I think it's singular singular micro bit yes it is singular and we need to also just set up the security certificates and NGROC do have a certificate already so we can just use theirs as uh, like that and to the top and save so let's just demonstrate that and if I move that across a little bit we should be able to see that if we do a test and ask open the micro bit did you see that we now get a message with the requested skills response. Ah, don't worry about that problem yet because we've not initiated the program that's going to receive this information but you do see we do have a request that's come through NGROC, it's just we didn't handle it when we received here. So, next, let's set up the handler, and we'll do that by setting off a new command window. It has to be a new one, because we need to leave this original one running. And here, when we ask what's in the directory, we will see we've got the microbit.js. But just before we run the microbit.js, we need to install the packages that it's going to depend upon. So let's run the node package manager to install. And we're going to need to install the Alexa app. This is to allow the program to connect through to Alexa. We're going to need to install request. That's going to allow us to listen to the HTTP ports. We're going to need to install serial port, which allows us to write to the USB port. And finally, express, which I have no idea what that does. And press enter on those.
so it fetches various packages from the internet. Don't worry at all about the warnings that some of these things are deprecated, and you may get some uh, some vulnerability. Uh, again, don't worry about those at all. So let's run that. We'll run it under Node to allow JavaScript to run on the local machine, and type in microbit. We can add the extension .js. And this sets off. The code that I've given you, uh, the code for microbit.code.txt, has a little test routine built into it. So if I press the A button, it shows a 1 on the microbit screen. And it also reflects back to the original program, uh, to, to this program. So we can just test that the the USB serial connection is working OK. If I press button B, it should go back to zero. So we know from that that the Alexa, uh, that the microbit is now fully connected uh, to the to the laptop, and the prog this program is going to listen to receive messages from Alexa. So let's try that as well, and I'll move that down in there so you can just see a little bit of what's going on. And I'll rerun by opening the micro bit. Controlling Matthew's micro bit. Say bright or dark. Let's try bright. And just bring up the window so you can see them. And press enter. Going bright. It's also sent through a message to the uh, to the JavaScript here. And if I was able to show you the webcam, you'd be able to see see that as well. But I think that might be hidden for this demonstration. So I'm going now going to type in dark and watch out again. Dark. Do you see another message? Dark. And let's go back to bright. Going bright. And let's try off, which is a risky one. Dark. Ah, oh, good. This this one did work. I thought it was risky because it might have switched the Alexa box off itself. But since we're using this simulator, we haven't got an Alexa box, it didn't switch off directly. OK. And then, in a few minutes, I'll add more video just to show that this is working using the Alexa, uh, using the microbit itself.